Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So um, I bought these from these water jet cut parts from Model Engineers Lasers uh, years ago. Um, so again, these are made to the spink drawing, so we have a few problems using them on um, the Model Works kit. So the Model Works, this is some quarter inch plate and the Model Works kit's expecting a six mil thick part so this this should go over this forked section here which is six mil and obviously it's slightly too big 0 0.3 0 0.4 of a mil so that's the first problem the other problem is that these parts have three holes in them and the corresponding parts have two holes in them so again that's something else we need to fix uh, final issue we've got is some um, with the, now these bushes are in place, this, this part needs to go between those two. So if I reduce this by 0.4 of a mil, it will just squeeze in between these two. So we're going to have to cut off the, um, the bushes short so that we can fit this in. So no big deal, but just a bit more work to do. So I think I'll hold off... Um, I'll hold off... For, painting this bracket I think until I've got all these parts fitting nicely because uh, we're going to need to offer them up quite a lot so um, today's little job is to make this a bit thinner so I think it's gauge plate but it should be unhardened so I'm going to have a go on the mill um, I've got uh, a couple of different magnetic table so I'm going to try the small one first see if that will work if not I'll try the large one and if that doesn't work I've got a tool and cutter grinder I might be able to shave off a little bit with as well so um, but I'd rather do it on the mill because 0.4 is quite a lot to remove on a grinder so I've got a little um, Eclipse mini magnetic vice here which um might might be strong enough so i'm gonna uh, give these a quick go i've never tried this before so this may not work <laughs> but we'll give it a go and we'll see how we get on i'm quite concerned about these smaller parts whether they'll just pick up but we'll have a go anyway see what happens So I've ascertained that um, the height um, on this is graduated in thousands um, and I, based on the original dimensions of this, this bit, this is obviously a bit thinner already, but um, based on the original dimensions of this I need to take off 0.4 of a mil, so that's just under 16 thou. So I'll, I'll start on this area and then I think I'm a, about point, point 0.1 down or point 0.2 down on this area. So that's been unmachined. So we'll start there and work our way down. So um, I'm halfway through grinding this now, so you can see that what a mess the, the mill was making of um, this as it kept uh, catching. 
So I think part of that was because this wasn't particularly flat, but in hindsight, this is a, a better way of doing it anyway. So it's, you know, we want to keep these nice and flat and with a nice surf uh, finish. So I'm pretty happy with the surface finish we're getting on that. I've got a 10 thou step over and I'm currently doing um, 4 thou height each time. And that seems to be, you know, you can you can feel it. It's not a super duper shiny finish or anything at the moment. I'll probably drop it down to one thou for the final pass. Yeah, so I'm very pleased with the um, finish on that. It's very good. Uh, yeah, considering that's just a tool and cutter grinder, not a surface uh, grinder. Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, that's the that's the as supplied finish, and this is the brown finish that I've done. So it's it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so we've got um, this fit fitting together. So that slides up and down there. Um, now, normally you'd remove this part and and fit it and use that as the die. But I have actually got um, what I think are bronze dies uh, from Model Works. So I'm going to use those initially. So I'm feeling that dissimilar metals are going to... Oh, I'll just go straight in as well. Are going to wear a bit better together. Um, and that obviously already fits there. If, if I was to use these, I'd need to, to make new pins. So... Just for expediency, really, I'm going to use these die blocks, which appear to be quite nicely machined and uh, ready to go. So we'll just we'll remove, we'll just cut these off. I will keep them. You know, if in the future I need to, um, if I, if I in the future if I need to change them if those wear out very quickly, uh, we've got an, an option. Um, so the other thing I got in the kit was these nice um, bearings, which should go in here. So I need to expand this hole so that bearing will go in. I can lock tight it in then. Yeah, so that's the next thing then. On to the milling machine. And we'll try and get these holes drilled nicely. Not sure what size that's going to be. Seven mil by looks of it. Um, I've had an idea. Obviously, I've got this problem with two holes, three holes here, because that's the trunnion that mounts these. But um, what I'm thinking is that actually, if I do that, that, that holds the pivot central. One of the, one of the li holes lines up, so I can use one of the holes, and and that hole then drops in between the two, so there's plenty of meat around it. So I think I'm going to go that route, just open up that one hole uh, and then just sort of use this as a drilling jig basically. Yes, but I think I think that would work and it holds holds this in, in the right place because it, it doesn't matter if you know, we're just rotating this part around the point it needs to be so it doesn't really make any difference as long as that's in the middle. So I can either do, use the top the, the bo bottom one, I think, or, or the top one. I'll, I'll have a look, see how it looks. I might need to just adjust that slightly. Maybe we might run out of clearance. So we've got the um, first one clamped up to a nice chunky bit of metal in the vise. And uh, we've centred on the hole. So now I just need to drill 7mm. Um, so I'll, I'll probably go slightly under initially and just creep up on the 7 mil. So I'll probably go with 6.5 to start with and then just slowly increase it. Okay, so we've got those holes bored out. Um, they're a tiny bit loose. So I'll, I'll use a bit of the, only the old Loctite. 638, so I've already cleaned these. So what I'm trying to do is uh, try and get a nice even coating all the way around. There we 
go. That's that one. Uh, should set up fairly quickly. Put that in. So I've just um, popped in a 8BA bolt there just to hold that. I think that's roughly how I'm going to to do that. I just need to drill a second hole there. But that's that's what I'm thinking. I know it doesn't look quite right, but. So that, that'll go either like this, or maybe the trunnions will go that way, but I think that's the bottom anyway. But what, what you can see is, um, if I get my calipers, the bearing surfaces on the trunnions are um, just a fraction under 18mm. And that's basically the gap between these, these uh, steel parts. So what that means basically is, is we need to remove this this part, basically anything that protrudes into this area needs to be removed from the bearings. So um, we need to get those on the um, need to get them on on the lathe somehow. So I need to come up with a way of holding those in the lathe. I've just very quickly made up. Um, a small uh, mandrel here so it's got a six mil center so this this just pushes on what well, i was thinking of super gluing this on but what i might actually do is see if i can fit in the uh, live center to hold that in position like this So I've got um, these bushes uh, made up to the right size now. Uh, I can't can't move it very much because this bolt's in the way at the moment. Um, but I've got free movement as far as I can go at the moment, and that that seems quite nice. That's rocking very easily, so I'm pleased with that. So. Um, I'm not sure if this should have a, a thread on it actually. I've got two of those parts. Um, this, this one is made with a thread. So I'll, I'll do a bit of investigating. I might need to thread that part. So I've just, just got the two um, pieces in. So they're, they're pretty much concentric. There is a bit of wiggle room with the screws anyway. So hopefully I can just slacken the screws off and just get them to the nice a nice position but as you can see that's going round okay so we just need to attach it to one of these so this piece has three holes but the matching part only has two so what I'm going to do is reuse one of the holes and just tilt the whole thing over it will mean I need to shave a little bit off this for clearance but only a very small amount, I think. So, again, a couple of strokes with a file, so that shouldn't be a problem. So I've lined up the existing hole uh, with a conical point. And uh, next we'll go in with the 6BA clearance drill. Which should be about 2, 2.7, so I'm going to have a go with that. I need to open it out a bit more. go so that's the first one and um, so I'll just unclamp it and I'll show you what I'm going to do to line up the second one right, there we go. so that's the sc screw lined up so that'll then give me the location of the second hole so we'll get that clamped up and uh, we'll drill the second hole OK, 
Okay, so that shows where that's going to go. I think I might go in with the centre drill actually just to help that get in. Because this metal is exceedingly tough. That drill wasn't wanting to go in at all. again with the main drill. Let's see if that will go in. I might need to go in with a smaller drill to start with. In fact uh, I might try 2.5. Okay so I think um, I think that's worked okay. It looks slightly odd but it, they are securely affixed. Um, and this has now highlighted the next problem, uh, where these these are sticking out too far, so I can't actually get this all the way in as far as it needs to go. So I need to um, remove some of this metal on the inside, so that we've got room for this to tilt backwards and forwards. So at the moment it won't even go in. Okay, so we've got this um, mounted now. I uh, still need to lock tight the, the rear bearing in, but I'll, I'll leave that for now. I need to make sure the, the trunnion pivots are concentric, uh, concentric or on the same axes. So what I'm going to do is um, add a bit of Loctite to them, lightly screw them up and then put them in the, the two opposing um, chucks. And that should uh, align them, hopefully, reasonably on the same axis. So that's the Loctite applied. And both, both of these chucks are fairly tight. And I'm, I'm pushing them together. So they should be pretty concentric. Um, the bearings aren't particularly tight. So that will allow for any slight misalignment. So the Loctite's gone off. I've tightened the, the, the um, trunnion screws up. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's a, that that's um, rotating really, really easily. It will just fall under its own weight, in fact. Um, so that means we've got them close enough. So I've got to put, um, got to put this die block in next. And that will involve um, op opening up these slightly, so I need to find a nice way of doing that that's not going to damage anything. And rather rapidly, it's all suddenly come together. So I've just got this clamped to the frames at the moment. Uh, off camera, I've, re I've finished these parts. Um, yeah. As you can see, it's it's all sort of lining up quite nicely. Now I've um, I've heard that there can be clearance issues when this arm goes forward, so I should be very careful when I'm manoeuvring it. So um, all I need to do is put the um, radius rod on here and connect that up and. Put a couple of pins in here and the, the bolts in there. We should have one side of the valve gear finished. Obviously we've got to do a bit of painting and whatever. But we've also got to set the position of, um, of the actual bracket. So that was going to take a bit of trial and error. But I'm uh, really pleased with that. So it's all things to fit, fit together quite well. That's pretty much that for now, I think. Pretty happy with how that's turned out. 
So we've got um, some fiddly setting up to do now. As, as I say, um, I've, I've heard I might need to chamfer this edge so that when the lever goes this way, it, it doesn't doesn't hit there. Um, but we can get to that when we get to it, really. But yes, there's all of the. of the bracket in place so this this will dr drive the lubricator i believe on the on this design this will drive the lubricator and obviously we need the the rod to drive this at the moment which we haven't got so there you go i uh, hope you found that interesting uh, like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one